Come with me while I make a delicious gluten-free, quick and sweet berry crumble. Start by adding some mixed berries to a bowl. You can use fresh or frozen, either will work. Then we're gonna add some fresh squeezed lemon. Don't forget, lemon is full of vitamin C. Now we're gonna add some vanilla extract and next up, some arrowroot powder. This is gonna help everything stick together. Now for sweetness, we're gonna add maple syrup. Mix it all together. This, don't forget, you can get the full recipe on my website, the link is below. Now in a separate bowl, we're gonna do our dry stuff. So we have some oats, and now we have some flax seed that's ground, a little bit of almond flour, and some cinnamon. My recipes are gluten-free, so that's why we're using almond flour today. Give all the dry goods a good mix and set them aside. Now take your melted coconut oil and pour the rest of the maple syrup in it and whisk the, these two things together to get them well combined. Maple syrup is one of my favorite sweeteners, by the way. Coconut oil is a good source of healthy fat. And now we're gonna add that to the dry goods and we're gonna give it a good mix. This is gonna be our crumble part. So it's going on top of the berry mixture when we bake it. Take a pie plate, spray it with some non-stick cooking spray. Please stop using Pam. Add your berry filling, spread it out evenly into the pie plate. Berries are full of antioxidants and anthocyanins. Now we're going to add in our crumble mixture and we're just gonna spread it over the berry mixture. You can have this for breakfast, you can have it as dessert. It is guilt-free, it's loaded with good healthy ingredients that all promote an anti-inflammatory diet. You're gonna bake this in the oven at 350 for about 40 minutes. It's delicious. If you don't have mixed berries, you're, you can do just blueberries if you want, um, but the mixed berries is really good. I like to sprinkle the top with cinnamon before I bake it because cinnamon is anti-inflammatory. Be sure to like and follow me for more healthy eating and cooking tips and recipes.